A YouTuber named CJ Faison decide to camp alone in Pokemon Forest. Um, this is actually the side of the Pokemon Forest. This cemetery right here was one that myself. Sunny is out of town for a few days, and what that means is I gotta go and I gotta keep on making and creating. This is gonna be a long night. A densely wooded stretch of land in Maryland, USA. Have you ever camped alone? Especially at a site that supposedly is a collection of gruesome urban legends. I, again, I want to go to somewhere like super remote. So as you can see, there's a nice little area around me. I walk for probably about 40 minutes or so, and I'm going to show you kind of the kind of the way I can. Well, CJ wants to explore it. He sets up camp and begins to explore the darkened forest with its torch. While out exploring, he spots a light in the distance. Initially, he thinks it may be one of the balls of fire that are rumored to flood through the forest at night time. But it soon becomes apparent that it's another person walking through the woods. is not a hunter and appears to be strangely tall and skinny. Later, CJ hears strange noises in the distance and a loud snapping sound can be heard, after which he runs from the scene in a panic. At one point, he is sure he would die that night. He eventually decides to use a spirit box to see if any spirit might be present. Something appears to smash the side of his tent, but CJ stays in the forest for the rest of the night. The next morning, CJ hikes out of the forest. He's a popular YouTuber, and his villa capture his airy and spooky experience in the forest. Pokemon Forest is the setting of several urban legends, which makes the entire experience more terrifying for CJ. The encounter with a strange and skinny person in the forest adds to the tension of the wee log. The loud snapping sound and something smashing the side of his tent is an indication that something was not right in the forest. Despite the fear, CJ spends the entire night in the forest. He kept hearing footsteps outside his tent. Needless to say, he was very happy to leave alive the next morning after a very long scary night. Tale number two. The YouTube channel No and Sam recently uploaded a chilling camping encounter that took place in the central Oregon. According to the uploader, they decided to stop and spend the night in their truck in a forested area. Wouldn't you think they would be all alone in that part of the country? But in the middle of the night, they experienced a terrifying encounter that they managed to capture on their GoPro camera. In the footage, you can hear someone walking around their truck and even knocking on the doors. They were terrified but didn't know how to get away. It was pitching black outside and they couldn't see who was knocking on their truck. Adventure Valley the person taps and scratches on the truck and disappears into the woods. The back door's already there, but it's forever. I don't think he knows there. there's anyone in here. The next morning, the uploader finds handprints all over the truck and even scratches where the person tried to peek inside. The person had no light source, and the encounter was undoubtedly scary. 
He was trying to peek in my truck uh, quite a bit with all these marks. I didn't even notice until I got home. The reason behind this bizarre encounter remains unknown. It's unclear why a person would be wandering through the woods in the middle of nowhere at 2.30 a.m. with no torch or light source. Um, handprints there, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck, trying to get inside my truck. Um, that's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. Nevertheless, the explorers were lucky to have made it out unscathed. This incident serves as a reminder of how dangerous camping in the wilderness can be and how one should always take precautions when venturing out into the nature. In any case, it's a truly chilling encounter and one that is sure to stay with the explorers for a long time. Tale number three. These are real scary videos you should watch before you decide to go camping. That was last night's stealth camp right next to the forest of Box Hill. I would highly recommend this place. Listen closely, something airy happened in the dead of night, exclaimed the narrator of the popular travel and camping YouTube channel, Will's Whereabouts. Will had been camping in Box Hill, an ancient wooded area southwest of London, when he was suddenly awoken in the middle of the night by a blood-curdling scream. I don't think I'm going to be getting much sleep tonight, he muttered as the woman's wailing echoed in the distance. You have stayed the night if you were him. As Will had settled in for the night, he had no idea what was to come. But the scream was so loud and haunting that he had to investigate. He tried to rationalize it as a wild animal's bark or some other wildlife, but he theorized that a few parked cars not far off in the distance in the park were culprits. The scream sounded like a blend of pleasure and pain, making one wonder what was happening deep in the woods in the middle of the night. This airy incident highlights the unexpected nature of camping and the mysteries that nature holds. Despite the terrifying experience, Will still recommended the steel campsite right next to the forest of Box Hill, perhaps hinting at the allure of the unknown that draws people to the wilderness.